In this video, we are going to draw a multiple vanishing point building. Um, since a part of the building has a rotation from the other parts, uh, we have multiple vanishing points when the objects uh, rotate in the perspective, they have separate vanishing points okay the building is above the horizon line so first of all i draw the stairs to reach the building uh, level the stairs here has l shape when you look at it on top view the shape of the stairs would be L, L shape. Okay, this part has one vanishing point, so I uh, draw the, the elevation of the building and then from the corners of this L-shaped elevation, I uh, give it depth. So the second part is seen in two vanishing point systems. So they have different vanishing points from the first part that I drew. I draw the columns for the structure and now I have the initial form which can be detailed step by step. You can add uh, windows, setbacks, deductions from the main form. To develop the form. As I'm drawing, I add some shadows too. You should consider the direction of the sun and then you can darken the parts that they get less light. I want to add a plane here, a vertical plane, since it's parallel to this uh, part of the building and uh, I use the two point perspective system to draw that. This part is elevation perspective so I use the single vanishing point in, point in the middle of the horizon line. Okay, the lines of the tiles. You can show the shades and shadows and the lines of the materials to just make the building, your drawing come to life and look more real. I want to have a linear window here the window is a bit set back under the surfaces like here should be dark because they don't get much light 
from the sun. You see when you add these uh, dark spots, the shadows and shades, your drawing gets more clear and easy to understand. The columns here are necessary. The surface is opposite the sun ray, so I want to make it a bit darker under the building, all under the surfaces should be dark. You can use uh, the marker, for example, the black one for the shadow parts, but since I'm uh, drawing with a purple pen, I prefer to use hatch to show the dark, uh, dark parts. Okay, here I have a platform. As I said at the beginning, the building is above the horizon line, so I have a platform here. Now let's add some vegetations, a tree here. You see all the branches should be drawn in V shape. From the trunk in the mid part of the tree. They come out from the trunk in V shape and you can have a nice tree. You can add more branches to have more detailed tree. Some leaves maybe on these branches. The material, the rocks on this platform. This part is darker because the stair cast a shadow on it. Another tree. In a different level from the first one okay little by little the drawing is getting finished the flooring lines toward the vanishing point in the middle You see just the parts that have rotation are drawn in two point perspective but the main observer view is one point perspective. Okay now adding some figures make my drawing look more real. And then I can start coloring. So I just want to color the background, the sky. I think yellow and orange would be good with the purple pen that I used for drawing. So I just add some yellow color at the background, you see how I uh, draw the form of the sky uh, which looks uh, like a cloudy sky now I 
add some orange color so as you see i start with light colors first yellow then orange the unwanted colors in white parts can be removed with white pen I just want to add a darker color like a darker orange shade especially near the horizon line should be darker so I add the darker color so the reflection of the sky on the floor I add uh, the same color of the sky on the ground too now the gray marker for the parts in shade you can darken even uh, you can darken the shadow parts with this gray marker okay near the horizon line should be darker and we are almost done i hope you enjoyed watching practice and share with me